Congratulations on the nomination. How does it feel here being at the Actor Awards, seeing all your peers, knowing that as Canadian you're representing this country as an actress, but more importantly being nominated here tonight too? It's honestly a dream come true. I think it's so important that we stick together and 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 showcase each other's work. Um, I think that in, uh, that the fact that we as an industry are recognizing each other um, and that as a Canadian, I'm so lucky to be Canadian and in the film industry in Canada. I mean, in Canada, we have so much diversity, so much talent to showcase. I mean, it's such an honor. Being 13, being here is just mind blowing. And that's the, the other incredible thing, 13 years old. I mean, most 13-year-olds aren't even allowed out of the house right now, and here you are walking a red carpet. What do your friends think of this? I, I don't know. I feel like I go to a pretty small school, and a lot of the friends that I have, I've grown up with since like I was maybe like five years old or something. So, I mean, my friends are super supportive, but what I really admire about my friends, and especially my family, um, is that they they really they keep me grounded and humble and they treat me as normal as possible um, and even though they support me and praise me for whatever work I do um, you know they just they show me so much love and support and they keep me humble and that's the most important thing about having friends and family. Now we should mention what you're nominated for. Yeah I'm nominated for uh, Best Voice uh, so yeah. <laughs> What's the project about? Uh, the breadwinner is about a young Afghan girl who is 11 years old um, and it's a time, it's set uh, when the Taliban rule was in play, I mean it kind of still is, but um, it was set around early 2000s, 2000 I'd say, and after her father is wrongfully imprisoned by the Taliban, she has to cut her hair and disguise herself as a boy in order to provide for her family. It's, it's a story about family, although it shows the struggle of um, Afghanistan and young girls and women in Afghanistan, it really shows um, the, the power of family and love and hope and determination. It's a really powerful story. I was going to say, was it something that really was, I don't want to use the word tough, but like how did you wrap yourself around this role, knowing again, here you are Canadian, knowing what it's like to be Canadian, but then putting yourself in, in somebody else's situation, knowing that the what you're acting was actually real and something that actually happened. Yeah, I mean, I am so lucky to live in Canada, um, where every morning I turn on the faucet and there's clean running, running water. I go to school every day and I see my friends. Every morning I wake up to my beautiful family in my bed. Um, and this movie is based off of a book and I actually read the book before, uh, a couple years before I actually went into the recording studio and got the role of Parvana. And, um, I think having read the book, it allowed me at such a young age, at 11 years old when I recorded it, um, to wrap my head around the situation. I mean, my mother has always, always throughout growing up, even when I probably wasn't able to fully comprehend it, um, she always told me about what was going around, on the, around in the world. And um, she always informed me about how lucky I am. And that definitely helped me to understand and put myself in my character's shoes. Future projects, what's coming up next? I'm not sure. I have a couple things that uh, I'm not allowed to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I know it sucks, right? Um, but I'm working on a new show for uh, Brown Bag Films that's going to be, yeah, on. Uh, I think PBS Kids, um, it's called Luna Around the World, it's another voice project. Uh, I just finished recording a show called Color Forms that'll be on Netflix, it's another kid show, voice acting. Uh, I'm in the process of finishing up a show called Dino Dana, which is on TVO Kids, uh, a live action, and I have a possible movie in the making, uh, a couple other projects, but yeah. What advice can you give other young folks who are still trying to figure out what they want to do and hopefully follow their dreams like you have, what advice can you give them? I mean, I still don't know what I want to do. I'm, I'm exploring the industry. I definitely am in love with the film industry, but I'm, I'm writing, actually I'm writing for uh, my show Dino Dana, which is really cool at 13 being able to write. I'm exploring, directing, producing, that kind of thing. Um, but 
I mean, I still don't know what I want to do, but definitely for younger children and kids my age, um, just follow your heart. Don't let anyone influence what you want to do. I mean, as hard as it is, as hard as it is to say no to your parents sometimes, um, don't don't let anyone influence your decisions in your life. Just follow your heart. Try different things. Um, diversify your life and see what connects with you and what your heart wants to do. Congratulations on tonight and congratulations on the crew. Thank you so much.